This video is brought to you by Prairie Spruce Commons, the first co-housing community to be located in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you about co-housing and to share our journey as we build our community. As you begin, ask yourself, what does community mean to me? This video presentation will touch on three specific areas. First, we will cover a general description about co-housing, then provide specifics about our Prairie Spruce Commons co-housing project, and we will close with the 10 benefits of living in a co-housing community. So what the heck is co-housing anyway? Here you see some actual members of our community. Note their smiling faces. They're glad they've chosen to live in a co-housing community. Co-housing stands for collaborative housing. It's a form of intentional community that started in Denmark in the 70s, then spread to other countries in Europe, such as Germany, France, and Spain, and as far away as Australia and New Zealand. Eventually, it arrived in North America in the 1980s. There are hundreds worldwide, including 11 established communities in Canada, in British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Ontario. There are also a number of communities under development in Canada, including Regina. Co-housing provides the privacy we are accustomed to with the community we seek. Key words are privacy and community. Private units are self-contained and fully featured with kitchen, living and dining rooms, bedrooms and bathrooms. And community is achieved via common spaces and through cooperation and friendly interaction among members. Co-housing typically includes a common house for community activities and shared meals. It's built for humans and not automobiles, so it's pedestrian friendly. For example, an underground parkade keeps automobiles away from where people are gathered, which is a safety consideration. Co-housing typically is designed, managed and maintained by residents. The design process is particularly interesting because everyone participates and everyone's priorities are factored in. Co-housing communities are governed by residents using a unique consensus decision-making process. In the consensus model, everyone is heard. It's a collaborative process. It takes a little longer, but it yields much better decisions and ensures that there are no winners and losers. Everyone has a degree of agreement. Generally, co-housing is multi-generational, although more recently communities of seniors, those with a specific age designation, are also following the model. You see in the picture that co-housing strives to create a village of all ages, where neighbors know and support each other. You will note that we have seniors and youth and young adults all in the mix. Prairie Spruce Commons is multi-generational, reflecting the greater community at large. We believe the generations complement each other in terms of what each can offer the other. There is a sharing of skills and abilities among members of the community, including mentorship of the children. Eating in the common house on a regular basis, as determined by each community, is a big part of co-housing. Sharing food is one of society's most popular ways to come together and build relationships. Co-housing is more ecologically sustainable than most housing in North America today. This is achieved through design principles as well as choices of building materials. Clustered housing saves valuable land for community facilities, recreation and conservation. Smaller homes save construction materials and energy for heating and cooling. Sharing items means less consumption of non-renewable resources. For example, it's common to share a lawnmower, snowblower, shop tools, small kitchen appliances, computer equipment, bicycles, and even cars. Bicycle and car share programs are quite common in co-housing communities. Moving on to the second part of our presentation, what about Prairie Spruce Commons? What does our co-housing community look like? Pictured above is a graphical representation of the northeast exposure of our building, and below that, the southwest exposure. Our building will have unique exterior features, such as Juliet Bay windows, which are common in Europe. It will be solar ready, it will have a garden space for our gardeners in our community, and multiple rooftop terraces. The three stories plus underground parkade will be serviced by an elevator that has doors opening on both front and back. The design conforms to heritage themes specified by the city's development plan. Example of those are the steep roof lines and the brick facades that are street facing. Prairie Spruce has an abundance of common area features. Typical is the community kitchen and dining room. We also have planned for young families, so we have children's play areas, 
a lounge for quiet times, and guest rooms for visitors. In keeping with our environmental stewardship culture, we also share a common laundry, although larger units are plumbed for in-unit laundry. We share our rooftop terraces. We have several of those as well as at ground level. And we have a workshop for people that are handy with woodworking or bicycle repair. Additional flex space is there for future considerations, such as an exercise room or media room. Our private units are fully self-contained, and they come in a range of sizes from studio to two-bedroom plus den. The different sizes accommodate different household size and different budgets. Each unit features in-floor heating and cooling, has soundproofing well above industry norm, and there's included covered parking, most of which are underground. There are currently only 7 of 21 units still available. Of those 7, they come in a range of the different sizes and different floor locations. Our building also has a lot of green features. We anticipate lower operating costs once we've moved in, anywhere from 30 to 50% less than the norm. This is made possible through increased insulation in the walls up to R40 and R60 insulation in the ceilings. We've designed in extensive use of natural light and the building is solar ready so at some future date we'll have solar panels on the roof. We have energy efficient system for heating and cooling, upgraded windows and we are LEED Gold certifiable. LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. Our location has a very high walkability score of 75. It is situated in a prime location, close to Wascana Park, the Downtown Business District, the University of Regina, and numerous other amenities including elementary and high schools, shopping, grocery stores, restaurants, entertainment venues, and the General Hospital, to name a few. Here we have a street view of the corner of Broad Street and Badham Boulevard looking towards the east. Prairie Spruce Commons is situated about 100 yards east on Batham. Let's move on to the third part of our presentation, where we describe the benefits of living in co-housing. Co-housing provides a safe and supportive environment, safe because everyone knows each other, and supportive because members feel they belong and look out for each other. The shared spaces and in-house community events create opportunities for social interaction in addition to people's other social circles. Co-housing supports emotional well-being of community members because everyone can achieve a sense of contribution, a form of engagement even if a relatively small contribution, from the youngest to the oldest, each contributing in a different way according to their abilities. Sharing resources provides access to more stuff or physical resources at less cost, as well as access to human resources as community members can share their skill and abilities. Child care can be a shared activity among households. It can be shared among young families or include older households looking to fill a substitute grandparent role. Co-housing communities are environmentally friendly through design, through choice of building materials, through energy choices, through reduced consumption. Responsible activities and choices are encouraged. They preserve green space through higher density and compact housing. They enable lower living costs through sharing and pooling of resources and superior construction, resulting in reduced utility bills. They offer time saving through shared meals, with each household, including working families and seniors, taking turns at meal preparation rather than having to cook every night and through shared workload. And finally, there is resident participation in governance and decision making, so everyone can offer ideas and opinions and know that they are heard and understood and valued by the rest of the community. As we end this presentation, I would ask that you ask yourself again, what does community mean to me? If co-housing is something that you're interested in, if you would like to find out more, visit our website at www.prairiespruce.com. You can learn more about Prairie Spruce Commons, or subscribe to our newsletter, or learn about upcoming events, or even arrange for a personal appointment with a community member. You can also like us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Prairie Spruce Commons. Thank you for watching, and if you like what you saw today, come check us out.